Hi friends, welcome back to Garfin's Creation. Today we'll be decorating this 8 inches round Doraemon birthday cake. It's a 1 kg whipped cream cake. So let's begin. I have crumb coated an 8 inches round chocolate cake and now I'll be using some whipped cream into a piping bag and will cover the cake entirely with it. I'll be covering the side of the cake with white whipping cream and the top I'll be using blue whipping cream. And now with the help of a scraper, turn it around the cake. In this way, all the creams will fill in the gaps. And now, either with a steel or a plastic scraper, smoothen all the sides round. To make the sides even and fill in those gaps, Add extra cream and smoothen it once more. With an offset spatula, pull the cream inside towards the center of the cake. With blue whipping cream, I'll be covering the top of the cake. Level up the cream with an offset spatula and then use a smoother again to keep the top smooth. With very light hands and using an offset spatula, push the cream inwards. As there are going to be a lot of decoration on the top of the cake also, I won't be stressing on making it extra smooth. With brown whipping cream, I'll be making the bark and branches of a tree. I have just colored the whipping cream with brown gel color. Using a star nozzle that is Noor 13, I'll be making tiny flowers with pink and white whipping cream. Use any of your tiny star nozzles here to make these pretty small flowers. Using the same Noor 13 nozzle again and making this flowers in white whipping cream too. I'm adding those flowers randomly to make the branches look full with flowers and later I'll be adding some leaves too. You can use a leaf nozzle but I'm just snipping off the top of an icing bag in a V-shape so that the icing comes out in the shape of a leaves. In the hot season to prevent your cream from getting melted, especially when you are using 
many colors of icing. I always keep a plate and put some ice packs over it and then I keep my icing bags on it. In this way, I get ample time to do the icing without the cream getting melted. Making long grass stems with the same icing bag, the leaf one which we had cut. Using some colored sprinkles, these are called rainbow sprinkles and creating some tiny flowers with it. We can also add whipping cream flowers in place of those. And now I'm creating some leaves at the side of the cake too. To write the message on the cake, I have used a little more softer whipping cream and put it directly into a piping bag. I have not used a nozzle here. I need to practice my writing skills on cake. I'm just giving my best and hope it turns out good. If you are not good at writing on cakes like me, you can also use fondant or chocolate in alphabet molds and create your message on the cakes. Now using the same star nozzle again and creating a border on the top edge and the down edge of the cake too. There are many videos on my channel for cake decorating ideas. I'll be putting the link of the playlist in the description box below so you can have a look. This is an edible print of Doraemon. I'll be cutting it all around it and then placing it on the cake just before delivery. I've taken two printouts of the same Doraemon only for safety and precaution's sake just in case at the last moment you have problems with the print you always have a backup. You have to be very careful while getting the print out from the plastic sheet. Use a very fine blade or a Zacto knife and pull it out from the plastic sheet. This is the time where the print could tear. And now very gently place it on the cake just before delivery. Using some very tiny multicolor sprinkles on top and at the sides of the cake. I hope I was able to give some tips on how to decorate a 8 inches round Doraemon birthday cake. Do leave your valuable comments below and also do like, share and comment. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell for more such interesting videos. Thank you until we meet again. Take care. Bye-bye.